Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'll be showing you how you can get your hands on Sharkman Karate. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. Also, I'm going to host one extra giveaway because I hit 50,000 subscribers recently. This giveaway will be for a random permanent fruit. So when you win, you can spin a wheel and get a permanent fruit. You need to be subscribed and also join my Discord, which is linked in the description below. Let's get straight into the video. Seriously, I got a God's Chalice. I don't need this. Yeah, those aren't even in. Can't be bothered. Bye-bye. In this video, I'll be showing you guys the moveset of Sharkman Karate and also how to get it. Here are the timestamps. So this is the moveset. First, we have the Z move, which is 12 water palms. You get this move at 100 mastery. 12 water palms launches you forward towards your cursor while striking the air with the 12 water palms, pushing opponents along. This move is good for mobility, but it doesn't break observation. So this is the move in action. It brings the opponent along with you almost all the way. And as you can see, I also went quite far. So if I do it again, but upwards, I went really far upwards. The X move is pressure vortex. You can get this move at 200 mastery. This move fires a vortex of water, which is a projectile. It can go pretty far and drag the opponents along with it slightly. This move is very nice as it breaks observation. So this is the move right here. As I use it, it pushes back the Island Empress right here and it does a decent amount of damage. I'll use it again right here, but slightly upwards. As you can see, the closer you are to the opponent, the more it damages them with this move. The C move is called the Great Sea Spear. You get this move at 300 mastery. This move shoots out some water which drags any opponents it hits into you. You then blast them with a beam of water which knocks the enemy back very far. This move is good to use on someone if you want to get away from them, but it doesn't break observation. This is the move in action right here. So it sucks them in and then spits them out. As you can see, it moves them pretty far and it moves them even further back if they aren't touching the ground. An example of this is right now. As you can see, it launched the Island Empress very far away. And now, how to get Sharkman Karate. The first thing you will need to do is be in the first sea, like I am right now. And in the first sea, you will need to go to the underwater city. To get to the underwater city, go find out where the prison is. So as you can see, the jungle's over that way. And you go the, basically the opposite direction as the marine fortress. When you get to the prison, you put your camera low to the ocean and you see those rocks over there. So you head over to them. Once you're over here, go into this, the whirlpool right here. Once you're in the underwater city, go to this castle, then go to the right of it. And when you're at the right, continue to the back of it until you see this little uh, door here. You go into this part right here and you'll see the water kung fu teacher. Now, from the water kung fu teacher, you're going to want to buy water kung fu. Now, water kung fu costs 750,000 belly. The second step is to get water kung fu fighting style to 400 mastery. It seems like quite a bit if you are new to the game, but it won't take that long, believe me. Now for the third step, you are going to want to head to the second sea. Once you are in the second sea, go try and find the Forgotten Island. That is basically from where you start if you go continue past Green Zone, which are those plants over there. It is over at this island here with a big skull on it. I'll just teleport there now. You are going to want to get the water key from the Tidekeeper boss, which is at the back of the island over here. That is the island he spawns on. There's a silver gold and diamond chest there, which is very nice if you want that. Also, when you get him at low health, he spawns 
a sea beast, but the sea beast does not have the same health as the regular ones. It has less, which is very nice. Plus, the water key and also his weapon, the dragon trident, both have roughly a 5% chance to drop, so it's very useful to kill him, especially since the dragon trident is very good. Now the fourth step is once you've got the water key, come over to the top over here and then give the water key to Digrok the Shark Man. He will then let you buy Shark Man Karate. And the fifth step before getting it is you'll need to have 2,500,000 belly and 5,000 fragments in order to buy Shark Man Karate. You can get fragments in the second and third C from things like awakening raids, raid bosses, and other events. Congratulations! You now have Sharkman Karate. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please like and subscribe. See you all next time!